This video is going to go over the creation of templates in SOLIDWORKS. Templates are how we control the initial settings of SOLIDWORKS when it opens and also how it appears, how it reacts, whether it has three decimal places after a dimension or two decimal places, all that kind of stuff. So let's start SOLIDWORKS. Okay, here's the initial screen, and I'm just going to hit part. It's saying the default templates are not valid. That's not a problem because we're actually going to go in and set them in this lesson. So I'll say OK. And here's the initial screen for SOLIDWORKS. Very barren, very unguiding. So let's set it up the way I want to see it every time I open the machine or every time I start drawing a part, I should say. So I'm going to click on the front plane in the part manager, and I'll show it. So I'm clicking on the item, and then the show icon. If I come back to the graphics area, and I hold down the mouse wheel, I'm going to rotate it so a little more visible. Okay. I like to start off my parts having three axes intersecting the principal planes. So the way you put those in, you will say insert, reference geometry, and axis. The intersection of two planes is always an axis, so I choose two planes. And you can see right here in yellow, that's where it's assuming it's going to drop in an axis. Looks good, so I use the green check and say OK. I'm going to repeat that process for the other two principal directions. If I put my mouse over the axis, you can see it highlights where the axis was dropped in, and it also shows the dependencies. So the arrows are pointing to the top and front planes. Let's put in two more axes. Insert, reference geometry, axis. I'm going to choose the front and the right. The intersection creates that vertical axis, and I'll say OK. And then insert reference geometry axis. I'll choose the right and the top, and it creates that axis that kind of looks like it's going into the screen. I'll say OK. So axis one, whoops. I put my mouse over it, it goes kind of parallel to the screen. Axis 2 goes vertical, and axis 3 goes into the depth of the screen. That's a nice place to start drawing when you start up the machine, because we always start drawing on one of the principal sketches. OK, so let's set up some of the other machine parameters. I'm going to come up here to the Options icon click it. Let's start in the document properties. For this class, our standard is going to be ANSI. It stands for American National Standards. Turn on all uppercase for notes and all uppercase for tables. Under annotations, let's see, that all looks good. Let's go down to dimensions. Okay, here's two important ones to change. Primary precision, change that to three decimal places. And dual precision, change that to three decimal places. In this class, since we're going to be working in inch pound seconds, we always want to see three decimal places. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Detailing. Make sure that cosmetic threads are turned on. Shaded cosmetic threads are turned on. And welds are turned on. We're going to learn welding in this class. 
Let's come down to units. Make sure the inch pound second is selected. Under length, make sure you have three decimal places. To change this, just click in the box. You'll see the little drop down forms. And then you can select whichever number of precision or decimal places you want. So I'm just going to click that back on three. Two places is fine for millimeters, two places is fine for angles. So then we'll come to model display. The rest of this should be fine. Sheet metal, that all looks good. Weldments, fine and configurations is good. Okay. So that all looks good. Under system options, let's see, do we need to change any of these? We will come back to these, but for right now, these look good. So I'm going to say okay. Now, since I have my machine set up exactly the way I want it, I'm going to say File, Save As, and I'm going to change the type from Part to Part Template. I'm going to call it Part. template and I'd like you to create a new folder where you're going to put all of your custom part templates Oops. let's not do that we'll delete that folder sorry Go under documents and we'll create a new folder called SolidWorks Templates 2018. I will open SolidWorks Templates 2018 and I'm going to save my part template into it. There. Now what we need to do is tell SOLIDWORKS where to find that part template. So we're going to go back under the options. And we'll come down under System Options to the File Locations entry. I'm now going to open a Windows Explorer. We'll go to Documents. SOLIDWORKS TEMPLATES 2018. This is the folder we just created. Inside, I see my part template. If I come up to the top, I can click on the uh, pathway bar, and I'm hitting Control-C. I'm copying that pathway to the clipboard. I'll exit out of that file explorer. Now I'm back in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to add another pathway under Folder. I'm going to paste in the pathway from the Windows Explorer, and I'll say Select Folder. You can see another entry line appeared in the file locations. I'm going to say OK. Now, let's shut down SOLIDWORKS and see what happens when we reactivate it. So this close option closes just the part I'm working on. This close option closes SOLIDWORKS entirely. Now I'm going to restart SOLIDWORKS again. Click on the Advanced tab. This is a much more friendly, in my opinion, 
startup screen for SOLIDWORKS. You'll notice right up here we see SOLIDWORKS Templates 2018. It took the name of the template folder and put it right in front of it. So I can select Part Template and say OK. And look at that. SOLIDWORKS started up with all my settings exactly the way I want to see things when I first open the machine. So that is how you set up a template. As we go through the course, you'll eventually set up a metric template, you'll set up drawing templates, and you'll set up assembly templates. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's useful to you, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.